So Euphoria. The show everyone has been talking about, and the show that I've been religiously watching for the past two months. I am someone who loves to do fan art, but I wanted to do Euphoria fan art with a twist. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking the Euphoria cast, Jules, Rue, Maddie, and Cassie, and I'm gonna draw them in different cartoon styles. So actually, this idea was an exercise that I had to do in school for a project, and if I'm not mistaken, I do think that the Disney interns, they had to do this exercise as well, but I never made it to Disney. So if you're an art student, this is a great exercise for you to try. I will try to explain my thought process as I do these illustrations. I won't be disclosing yet the show that I put the characters in, so you have to watch the whole thing. Yeah, and then without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's start with Rue, our girl Zendaya, and I have decided to put her in the Hey Arnold universe for a lot of reasons, actually. So even though Hey Arnold is a show for kids, I do think it always had a sense of maturity to it, and at some points it definitely was a little bit dark too, which makes me think that Rue fits in that world. I definitely think Arnold would be there to help Rue out whenever she's in a mess, because he's that kind of guy, for sure. So let's analyze the Hey Arnold style. Right out of the bat, I can see how they all have like very different head shapes. The other thing that I noticed right away is the eyes. They all have circular or oval eyes with dark or black pupils. And then for clothing and anatomy, their anatomy seems to be very simple. Very simple legs, very simple torso. And regarding Rue, I decided to obviously put her in her iconic burgundy hoodie, her dad's hoodie. And then obviously the other big feature she has is the hair. So we need to capture the messy hair. All right, let's get to it. Even though the Hey Arnold characters have a lot of weird heads, some of them have very normal heads. So something that I wanted to do was to capture this like slouchy pose that Rue has because I think it's very characteristic of her and also, you know, she's not a very happy character. She's definitely constantly tired or high. So I wanted to give her that slouch. Also her eyelids are always a little bit halfway closed, you know, this sort of I don't care attitude, I'm too tired of life attitude. And then the last thing, now that we're, we're done for the most part with it, Rue always has her ankles showing, and then she wears like chucks, like regular Converse. I mean, fun fact, one of the first shoes that I ever learned how to draw was because of this show. So one last detail that we cannot forget, it's the eye bags. Like, of course Rue has eye bags here. All right, so now that I have my sketch, well, my rough sketch ready, and I'm sort of happy with it, I'm gonna clean it up in the Hey Arnold style. So basically cleaning up in the Hey Arnold style seems to be very simple. Black outlines, very thin and uniform, and that's it. There's no shading, which makes my life a lot easier, so I'm very happy for that. So let's finish our Rue so we can plop her into her world. Right, and now let's quickly add color. All right, so now that we're done with the first character, with Rue, you can see her here on her own, and now I'm gonna place her with the characters. I love how Helga is looking at Rue instead of Arnold now, which is funny, because that would be a hilarious storyline to have Helga in love with Rue. I think she definitely fits in this world, and I'm pretty happy with the results, so we can move on to the next one. And the next one's going to be Jules. Alright, so for Jules, we're gonna put her in the Fairly Odd Parents universe. It might be a random match, but I think it fits. Jules from season one would be perfect for this because she still has like that childish essence to her. She's sort of naive in a way if we forget certain things that she's done. And then on this season, she's giving more punk, more edgy, definitely darker, where we're gonna find a nice mix. We're gonna find a nice in between. Alright, so for the Fairly Odd Parents, this may be very simple, I think. 
I would like to think at least. So all of the characters, they have the same sort of head, very sharp on one side and then a curve on the other side. So in short, this style is very bold, very graphic, a lot of straight lines, a lot of angles and very geometric. All right, so now let's look at Jules. So all these references from this side are from season two and I have one reference from season one, mainly because I really like those eyelashes. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start with our little head. All of them have the same ear. Then we have the eyes. So one and two. Okay, so I definitely know I want her to have space bones. I think that's the name of that um, hairstyle with two money pieces. That's, that's what these little hair strands are called. Since this cartoon style is very graphic, it truly allows us to break certain rules and to break, you know, physics. There's like a few examples where sometimes some ponytails are floating. All right, and for the shoes, Trix is wearing this like white Ariana Grande sort of boots, very 60s. So let's give Jules some Doc Martens, like really big with a huge platform. All right, so I do like this one a lot. I do think it captures the essence of Jules. So yeah, so let's clean it up and then add some color to it. So since the style of the show is so bold and so graphic, I'm gonna go with the shape tool to ink this because that's gonna give us a vectorized look and the lines will be sharper and cleaner. All right, so now that we're done with the line, let's go ahead and start adding color. All right, so I'm done with Jules. This is the final version. Um, I love how the pants turned out. I think they're very successful when it comes to interpreting the weird acid wash style in this cartoon style. And then now let's see her next to the other characters. So actually now looking at this, it's even funnier because Trixie looks like Maddie and Veronica looks like Cassie. Jules definitely would stand out because she's that weird kid who's not afraid to be weird, but oh well. And now for our third round, we're doing Maddie. So this one, I also went back and forth between a lot of styles for a lot of shows, but I ended up settling for All Grown Up, which is the Rugrats, but grown up. I actually remember when they released the movie first, because before the spin-off, they did the movie where the babies grew up. And for some reason, I definitely cried in that movie. And also, if you look at the style of the kids in this show, somehow they were actually fashion and edgy and cool. Like, look at Kimmy. Like, she looks so modern, I think. Angelica, it's given Samantha Jones from Sex and the City, but... Also, I do think Angelica would be either Maddie's best friend or Maddie's like nemesis. So we're committing to this one. Let's quickly analyze the style of the show. All right, we have different shapes of eyes, big head, small neck. Um, okay, so this mouth is great. I think we could use lips like that for Maddie. I'm definitely gonna base Maddie off of Angelica. Actually, why don't we just get into it and we just try to replicate the style. We have plenty of information already. So let's get to it. All right, so as I do the head, I'm gonna make sure to keep the Rugrats iconic cheek. And for the body, I'm giving Maddie a tiny, tiny, tiny waist and big, big hips. All right, so how you can see here in this show, they definitely went in with the accessories. So as your quintessential Latina girl, Maddie deserves some big, big hoops. So here are Maddie's huge gold hoops. And then we need to give her the big nails. And regarding the outfit, I'm gonna take some liberties. So obviously we're referencing this look here, but actually I do like, you know, like the little hole she has on the sides of her hips from this outfit. So I'm gonna give that to her here. Cause you know, she definitely likes to be that All right, and then now that we have our sketch of Maddie ready, I'm gonna go and quickly clean it and add some color to it. 
and then I'll show you guys the final result. So the rendering of this show is super simple. Black lines across the board, uniform thickness, and the coloring the same thing. Simple solid colors with no shading at all. So thank God for that. And Maddie's done. Here's the result. That's Maddie by herself. I love the tiny little purse and I love the big, big, big nails because I couldn't do Maddie without nails. Also, let's put her with the rest of the cast. I think she definitely belongs in there. And this is her now with just Angelica. They literally look... Actually, no. Maddie looks ready to fight, but Angelica, it's actually threatened. So who knows? Maybe she might be Angelica's bully. And Maddie probably is saying like, you better be joking. That's actually my favorite line from the show. So that was our third character to do. And now we're ready to go and do our final character. Last but not least, here is our girl Cassie. Let's give some context here. Everyone remembers that iconic shot. That shot was giving art. It was giving Rapunzel. It was giving Snow White. She was like ready to call all the animals in the forest, even though she was like crying. Yes, I know. So she was giving, for me at least, she was giving Disney Princess, a very messed up and I don't, I don't wanna say crazy, but crazy one, but Disney Princess regardless. So I'm putting her in the Disney universe or Disney Princess universe. Yeah, it fits. All right, so I'm sure everyone is familiar with this style. If you're not, I mean, I don't know under what rock you've been living. It's the most realistic one that we've done so far. So probably it's gonna be the hardest one to do, but it's fine, we're gonna do it. The eyes are all very almond eyes, beautiful flowy hair, your cliche and typical feminine figure. Those hands are very hard to draw. I've tried for years and still I struggle with them. So yes, let's start with Cassie then. As usual, I start with the head. Like I said, I'm gonna do Cassie based of the beautiful artsy picture or shot but I'm gonna take some inspo from the Oklahoma outfit and I'm not joking, I'm actually very serious. So even though she's a Disney princess now, she's going to have a crop top. Literally, I put all of them in crop tops. So I'm gonna add the tears, fake smile. It's sort of like she's trying to keep her shit together and clearly she can't, but she's still trying. Okay, so we have the Cassie sketch ready, and now we have to clean it up. So let's see, or let's analyze the Disney style. All right, so for the Disney rendering style, they use what it's called the sculpted line. It's a line that you're painting with a lot of care. It's not like a random line that you just go and like. They color that line a tone darker than the inside. Here you can see the princesses have shading. But actually, that's because it's the promo look. But if you look at any other film, for the most part, I'm sure they will not be shaded. But for this occasion, we're gonna do that soft, airbrushy shading style. All right, so I think that's it. Let's get to it, and then let's see how it turns out. This kind of line definitely takes a lot of time and a lot of patience, but we're going through it. All right, so that's the line. Let's go ahead and quickly color it. For this shading, I'm adding shadows and highlights. I could literally spend a lot more time on this, but this will have to do for now. All right, and we're done with Cassie. So now let's look at the final. Um, Maybe she doesn't look that much like a Disney princess. The thing is like, the Disney princesses have been created through over, what, 80 years, maybe 100 years? I'm not sure. I don't remember when Snow White came out. So they have a style, but they're still a little bit different from each other. But I do think that Cassie still fits. Let's put her with the rest of the cast. Yeah, I think she blends in. Obviously, I could have added, you know, more shadows, this and that. But I think she blends in. All right, so that's all for today. Here are the four illustrations again, so you can look at them. Other than that, I know that was random, 
but it was fun. So let me know if you want to see a part two where I do Nate, Lexi, Call, and Fest. I hope you liked this video and learned something from it, or at least had a good time watching it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I promise you that I will get better at outros and intros, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. I like that one.